Uh, so what we're going to be dividing today is eight and thirty-four cents, eight dollars and thirty-four cents, divided by one point two pounds of turkey. But before we can do our box method, we have to make a change here because dividing a decimal by decimal is not our friend ever. We want to be able to make that decimal in our divisor a whole number. And we know from Newton's law that whatever happens on one side happens on the other, right? We know that. So, to make this a whole number, what would we have to do, Jane Wilson? You would multiply each number by 10. You're going to multiply each number by 10. And then in turn of that, what's going to happen to the numbers? They're going to shift, aren't they? So it's going to appear that the decimal is moving, right? If we move it one time to the right on this side, what do we have to do over here? Move it one time to the right on this side. Then I rewrite my new problem, which is 83 and 4 tenths divided by 12. Okay? Then I write it as long division. I need to check my place values, right? After I've done that, I'm going to set it up in our box model. How many homes need to be in my box model, Bryson? Three. And where does the decimal go? Between which two place values? Kason? Eight and three. My decimal isn't between the eight and the three. Where is my decimal? It's between the ones and the tenths place. Now, I can start the math. There was that added step when we're doing decimal divided by decimal, right? So, I've got to use some estimation here. 12, how many groups of 12 will go into 8? Zero. 12 times zero is? Leaves me with a difference of? Eight. I carry that over to the three. That's right, Connor. And then I've got to think about 12. How many groups of 12 will go into 83? Think about what you know about 12 times 5. So what would be a good estimate to use here? Want to try 12 times 7? Well, let's test it. 7 times 2 is? 7 times 1 is? Plus 1? Oh, great. Oh, it won't work, will it? It's one over, so we automatically know that it's six. And what is 12 times six? 72. That leaves us with nine. No, that leaves us not with nine, sorry, 11. And what do we do with that 11 remaining? Take it over. How are we going to get close to 114? Hmm? Well, let's try to tell times 9. Let's see. 9 times 2 is 18. Carry the 1. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 1 is 10. Okay. I think that is going to be the closest, right? Okay. So we carry down all of Oh man, so what are we going to do now? Because we have a remainder. Oh, make another home for another place value, right? And what are we going to put in that home? A zero and carry up the six. And 12, how many groups of 12 will go into 60? Five. And then I want 
want to rewrite my problem to be true. We start with our original problem, right? $6.95 per pound. 